Hi folks and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. Today we're going to do some heavy towing with this, the 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500. Now the real reason we're doing this video is because of that hitch right there. We had a gooseneck style fifth wheel hitch in here before from Kurt and now we have our traditional fifth wheel and we're going to go tow a fifth wheel and find out the differences. So we're just getting prepped to put our new fifth wheel hitch together. The first thing we did is we went out and measured where the trailer sits when it's level and where the bed or the floor of the truck bed sits. And then you can figure out where the hitch needs to be adjusted height wise. It has 17 inches of vertical adjustability. So you're able to set it up as you need it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty involved. We got to kind of put everything together now. So let's get to it, Dad. So if you've ever wondered how a fifth wheel actually locks into your factory puck system, well, you can see it right here. This little guy drops in, you turn the arm and lock it, and then that is gonna hold it in place. So that's actually what's down in the truck, and of course, there's four of these, one on each corner. And now there you have it folks. We just got that Kurt A25 installed. So the, one of the main reasons we're switching back to a hitch like this dad is because he got an eight foot bed on this truck. So we don't need the Kurt crosswing anymore, but that's not the only reason why you get the crosswing. So I just want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of this hitch versus the one that just came out of the truck. And I'll start right off the top. The biggest one very clearly is weight. Yeah. This hitch is very heavy. I was able to lift it on my own, but I mean, I was just able to get it an inch off the ground and it's super awkward and getting it into the truck i'm not sure i could have did that that was dad and i doing it yeah together, i don't know so. the exact number but it's it's at least 150 pounds yeah it's way Which heavier twice what the crosswing than is. the crosswing and that was yep. the thing when pulling that thing out of the truck it just comes in and out so easy so that's one of the advantages they say about the crosswing and i think it's absolutely true if you yep. had that in all the time yep. you'd be more inclined to take it in and take it out whereas this hitch because it's so heavy yeah, you're probably just going to leave it in there most of the time. And if you do take it out, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right. Yeah. And then even beyond that, getting it to fit into the factory puck system, and they do say this in the instruction, so it was normal, it wouldn't quite fit. So we actually had to loosen off a couple of the bolts that we tightened, hit it with a mallet, get it down into place, and then tighten it back up. So even that, if you pulled that out right now, I'm not sure it would go right back in without having to loosen it again. Well, that's so the whole thing. So once you get it in and you realize that you had to kind of finesse it, to sit properly, mm -hmm. yeah, then you just don't take it out again. Exactly. So again, that's one of the reasons why these kind of gooseneck style fifth wheel hitches have been popping up. And it's absolutely true. It's just more convenient on the crosswing than this thing. But now that we've got the A25 in, the most important test is gonna be hooking up the trailer, going out on the road and seeing if we can feel the difference between the hitches, right? Yep, let's go see and do that. Cool. Hey folks, have you ever been worried about online cybersecurity or where your data ends up? Well, I'm here today to tell you about Delete Me, a company that specializes in making sure you can own, manage, and delete all of that data off of the internet. If you didn't know this, there's companies out there called data brokers, and they specialize in scrubbing your information, packaging it, and then selling it to interested corporations. Now, one of the problems with having that data floating around can be identity theft, but if you go with Delete Me, they will help to protect you. Now, when you sign up for the service, they will produce an entire privacy report, which lets you know exactly which one of these data brokers had your information. And then as you look at it, it will even tell you what information they had, things like name, age, address, phone number, marital status, and more. So if you're interested in this protection, make sure you go to joindeleteme.com slash TK20 and use promo code TK20 at checkout to save yourself 20%. Again, that's joindeleteme.com slash TK20, promo code TK20.
So we're just about to hook up. I'll show you the operation of this hitch real quick. One of the nice things is there's a little color coding on the back to tell you what position it's in. So green, as it is now, means fully locked. Now to get ready to couple, we pull out and we pull back. And now the color on the back has turned to yellow, which means ready to couple. Those jaws are open. There's also a red back there. If it's red, that means you don't go anywhere. Something is not hooked up correctly. But yes, in the yellow position, it should be good to go. And this handle's a little different than traditional fifth wheels that we've used. Usually it's just an in and an out, but this actually goes back and forward. And I like that because you can really get some torque on it with your arm. So yeah, we're ready to hook up now. Another thing Make that's sure. honestly awesome, especially for fifth wheels, is the multi-flex tailgate. I'm actually able to get in here this much closer because of this extra little tailgate here. If this wasn't here, I'd be back here reaching in, but I'm able to get in nice and close and hook up the lights. You know what, the multi-flex has a lot of uses, but specifically for fifth wheel towing, I find it's, uh, yeah, it's super helpful. And now, well, Dad, the rubber hits the road. This is our second tow. Hopefully you saw the first tow video where we literally was the first time towing this trailer with this truck. But in that video, of course, we were using the Kurt Crosswing that we've been discussing. So now the idea is we're on the same highway. This is the 401 and we're gonna do highway speeds and we'll be able to feel the differences. Um, right off the hop, Dad, I'll tell you what I feel from the passenger seat, which is that the, the lack of offset, the fact that the trailer is now sitting eight and a half inches further forward than it was, more directly over that rear axle, I think it's just riding a little nicer. The nose isn't quite as tall. And uh, before with the crosswing, there was a sense that the weight was hanging further off the back. And I'm not getting that really at all with this hitch. How about you? Well, to be honest with you, I need, to, I need a little more seat time. But uh, on, at first blush, yeah. No, the, the load is, is squarely over the axle now, and even if it's not a question of how it feels, that's just better, period. Yeah, sure. Sure, so yeah, I guess let's uh, continue on here and we'll see uh, how you end up feeling. All right, Dad, well, we're a couple kilometers down the road now, so uh, yeah, what are you feeling at highway speeds? Not unlike with the crosswing. I mean, this is all about the truck and it's all about the eight foot bed. It's all about the extra capacity of the 3500. So, you know, we're, we're sitting at probably not quite 14,000 pounds and on the trailer. And the thing is, you know, it's, it's very, very stable. That was the key, all right? The Ram was not. This is. It's dead stable. I keep looking back. With the Ram, I could always look in the rear mirror and the very back of the trailer was just always doing a bit of a twitchy thing. Whereas here, it's absolutely straight. I can let go of the wheel, you know, for literally minutes at a time. It's it's so nicely balanced right now. And then the other thing that I've been doing here is I've been changing lanes uh, quite aggressively, you know, to see whether or not it's going to change the attitude or, or whip the trailer around at all. It really doesn't swing the truck at and all. And it doesn't. It just, it's like it's on rails. So, you know what, I've solved all my problems. That's the key. Is this hitch better than the crosswing? Only from the point of view that it's now right over the axle, the weight is spread even better, and there's no doubt in my mind that with that larger fifth wheel surface, um, I'm probably getting a little more stability as well. So, you know what, it's just aces. Yeah, that's all That's all fair. And and so I think maybe what it boils down to, Dad, is not necessarily saying this is better than the crosswing and the crosswing is better than this. Like usual, we come back to this usage case, right? It depends on which truck you own, how often you're gonna be taking it out of your bed. If you do expect to use your bed all the time, the crosswing is vastly superior just from the installation point of view, right? But then if you have the short bed, the crosswing is also important. If you have a long bed, it's not as important, so you yeah, might not care. And, and you know what, and let's let's talk about that for a second because eight foot beds are rare, as yeah. we know. Very few guys opt for an eight foot bed. Um, they're so funny these days with a crew cab. They even look weird. Yeah, it looks so long. So, yeah, so the crosswing is actually very handy. Now, the other thing to remember is that each brand, when you talk about a short bed, uh, they're different lengths. Sure. Uh, the Ram's probably one of the shorter Shortest. ones, right? 
Um, so consequently, yeah, you may need that simply because that's what you've got and you know what, it's a good option. However, if you do go whole hog like I have with the eight foot bed, then yeah, man, you can get the conventional hitch and get all the benefits associated with that, except for the weight factor. Once it's in, trust me, it's staying in. <laughs> That's fair. And for whatever it's worth, the Crosswing max rating was at 20,000 pounds. This hitch max rating is at 25,000 pounds. I don't expect you to go over that, but if you do need that capacity, well, that's, you know, worth mentioning. Yeah, well, we're not getting anywhere near that, but it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know, more is better. Yeah. Well, folks, we have come to the end of this one. Now, regardless of what style fifth wheel hitch you go with, I think one of the most important takeaways I'm coming away with is that we have more choices than ever. It doesn't matter what kind of truck you get, there's usually a hitch that will fit your needs. So like we already mentioned, it's all about usage case. You have to decide what you're doing with your truck and trailer and which hitch is gonna work better for you. And then I also just have to mention the truck. This thing pulls that trailer like a champ. Feels so buttoned down and solid. And of course, that's what dad was going for. So uh, in that way, you gotta give props to the Chevy. But yeah, that's it for this one. So please go below into the comments. Let me know what you think of the truck and both of our hitches back there. Have you used or bought one of these hitches? Please let us know your experience. As always, while you're down below, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit join to become a member, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya.